So it's that time again for a tour of the kitchen garden. This is the front garden. And the kitchen garden kind of starts in the drive where we've got the cherry trees. And these are doing pretty well now by comparison with uh, how they looked on the last tour. In fact, this is a pear tree. And we've got a few baby pears on here. This is only its second year, so uh, we don't want it to have too many. And quite a few cherries. Just uh, starting to plump up a little bit. I just love this time of year when all the the fruit starts to uh, to set and mature. Most of these cherry trees are stellar, although I have got some rainiers as well. So they're all in bins, which means they need a good water every few days, but they're worth it. Nothing like fresh cherries. So let's have a look at the back garden. Quite a lot has changed since the last tour. So the potatoes, which were just breaking through on the last tour, are all going very nicely. Apart from that one that got a bit bashed up in the wind, so we cropped it, got uh, a pound of, of potatoes, and it's replanted now with some more seed potatoes that we had left over. Yep, all doing very nicely, and look quite nice on the patio as well. Popped a few uh, outdoor tomatoes in here. We've got stacks of tomatoes all over the place, but. Uh, We've only got a few planted out so far. And then these are the outdoor blackberries. Outdoor blackberries, <laughs> thornless blackberries. Uh, they're just in pots. They seem to do fine in these pots. Uh, but since the last tour, I put this new frame up for them. So there's three, three blackberries there, there, and there and they're trained upon that frame. And they're growing really nicely. There are lots of flowers on them. So I'm hopeful they have a pretty good crop. I've got some more potatoes here. Both of my cats are here wandering around, wondering what's going on and keeping the birds off. So these are beetroot, and these were under fleece last time, um, but they've really matured very nicely. I'm very pleased with those. Her beds spring into that life nicely as well. I've got a few uh, shallots in there and bits and pieces of garlic, just sort of emergency supplies in case we don't get down to the allotment. Strawberries have come on magnificently since the last tour. Lots of flowers everywhere. Cats are very interested. Yes. And another cherry tree. This one's not cropped as well as it did last year. It had an amazing crop on last year. And I suppose that's why it's taken a rest this year. But it's still a decent uh, decent number of cherries on here. And the cats, of course, do their job and uh, keep the birds off. And there's chard at the back. And then there was chard in the front bed here, but this is uh, now beetroot. I'm still protecting that because it's only been planted out for a few days. A little bit of chard left here, just there's nowhere else to put it. But really this bed is about the perennial kales. So I've got a really nice, I can't remember what it's called, dinosaur kale effectively here. And this is a really nice kale as well. Really lovely. Just keep picking these leaves. It just keeps coming. And I have heard 
that if you interplant these kales with the normal annual kales, these take most of the hit from pests, but they don't actually care, they just throw off any pests. Um, but they kind of protect the, uh, the annuals. So I might give that a go, I'll take some cuttings off there soon. And I'll just stick them in a pot and see how it goes. Looks like there is something in there eating. <coughs> eating some of that. Okay. So since the last tour, the blueberries have uh, come into flower. This is a second year blueberry and as you can see it's absolutely laden. The first year blueberries are not quite so uh, full of flower but still that's the first year one it's still doing pretty well and this unfortunately is the gooseberry that the sawfly got um, and it stripped it clean within two days there's not much you can do about it really so fortunately we have about 20 gooseberry plants on the allotment so we're not too worried more blueberries looks like we're going to get a really good crop of blueberries this year so this is my beloved apple tree and this too has got a lot of flowers on it. A bit too early yet to see how well they've set. But it had a lot of disruption when we did this patio last year. As you can see it only has a relatively small area now that it gets watered for, uh, through and it had quite a lot of root disturbance as the patio was dug around it and all that sort of thing so we were a bit worried about it but this year it's really sprung back to life really good so just popped a couple of peppers in here because i ran out of space and the strawberry bed is doing very well three different varieties Got some more blueberries here, some raspberries and things like that. But just look at this strawberry bed, it's gorgeous. So many flowers on there, and all the fruits seem to be set in really well. Really pleased with this mulch that I put on last year, seems to have worked really nicely. And a black currant there, which we've mostly got for taking cuttings off because we've got lots of other black currants on the allotment, but this is a particularly nice one, so we've got this for cuttings. And the hostas, well, they were only tiny little plants on the last tour, but they've really come on nicely, as have the raspberries. Yeah, a few flowers on these now already. This is exciting because raspberries are my favourite of all the fruits so I can't wait to be eating raspberries again. And that is pretty much it. That's the end of the tour. I hope you liked it and if you did subscribe um, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments, it's always lovely to see those. Uh, do try and reply to them all. I have to forgive my swimming gear. I'm pretty excited today because it's the first day that I've been back swimming for quite a few months after an injury. So uh, yeah, really good. Look at the cats just rolling around and messing around. What is it, Moo? What are you up to? As said before, these cats are so helpful in the garden to keep the birds down. One of the reasons we have fleece though on these beds is to keep the cats off while the plants are small. Once they're like this, it's not so much of a problem 
but when there's lots of soil in evidence cats are a bit of a pain but the fleece does its job okay end of tour